and welcome to the session. The given question says, A and B toss a coin alternately till one of them gets ahead and wins the game. If A starts first, find the probability that B will win the game. Let's start with the solution. And we know that when a coin is tossed, possible outcomes are head and tail. Let us denote the head by capital H and the tail by capital T. So the probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 and probability of getting a tail is also 1 by 2. Therefore probability of not getting a head is given by 1 minus probability of getting a head that is 1 minus half which is equal to half. Similarly probability of not getting a tail is 1 minus probability of tail which is again equal to half. Let E denotes that A gets ahead and F denotes that B gets ahead. Now A starts tossing the coin first so he will get the first chance then B tosses the coin, then again the third chance, A will toss the coin. So, A will toss the coin in the first, third, fifth, seventh and all these chances and B will toss the coin. After A, that is in the second chance, if in the first throw A does not get the head, then in the again fourth throw, if in the third throw he does not get a head, and in the second throw also B does not get a head, so on. Therefore, probability of E in the first toss is half. Now, A will get third toss if he fails in the first and B fails in the second. Therefore, probability that A wins the toss, that is he gets a head, that is probability of getting a head in the third throw by A is given by probability of E complement Intersection probability of F complement intersection E. That is probability of not getting a head in the first throw, not getting a head in the second throw by B. And then probability of getting a head in the third throw. So this is equal to probability of E complement into probability of F complement into probability of E. So this is equal to half into half into half which gives 1 by 2 cube. Similarly, probability of getting ahead in the fifth row which is by A such that Ahead do not appear in the first four throws is given by probability of E complement intersection, F complement intersection, E complement intersection, F complement intersection, E. That is probability of 
not getting a head in the first, second, third and fourth row and probability of getting a head in the fifth row. So this is equal to probability of E complement into probability of F complement into probability of E complement into probability of F complement into probability of E. And all these probabilities are equal to half. So we have half raised to the power 5. Hence, probability of winning the game by A is equal to probability of E union probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection E union probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection E complement intersection F complement intersection E union and so on and this is further equal to probability of E plus probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection E plus probability of E complement intersection F complement intersection E complement intersection F complement intersection E plus so on and this is further equal to half half raised to the power 3 plus half raised to the power 5 and so on. Now this is a geometric progression. So solving it, this is equal to half divided by 1 minus half raised to the power 2. And this is equal to half divided by 1 minus 1 by 4. And this gives half divided by 3 by 4, which is equal to half into 4 by 3. So we have 2 by 3. So probability that A wins the game is 2 by 3. Thus, probability, we have to find the probability that B wins the game. Therefore, probability of B winning the game is equal to 1 minus probability of A winning the game. And this is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3, which is equal to 1 by 3. Hence, our answer is 1 divided by 3. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.